what GreenFest is, is an epicenter uh, for people who are trying to incorporate sustainability into every facet of their life to learn uh, all the different ways they can do it. Uh, it's the best place for anybody who might be out there saying green is just a marketing fad to come and see the people who really have brought it into everything that they do with their business, their organization, their educational outreach. What's the hot item in your store? Well, we've got organic panties. We've got the bloomers from A Young Woman Makes These in Vancouver, BC. We have a whole selection of organic sheets, all organic cotton. My name is Willow Witten. I'm the owner of Holy Lamb Organics, natural bedding company. And I think what it means to be seriously green is um, to really set a precedent and be a model for business, like a new type of business consciousness where it's not just about the products, it's not just about the bottom line, it's about the process. Um, all, not only on a social standpoint in terms of how you interact with your staff and are the staff happy and what kind of environment are they in, but the raw materials, where are you getting them? Are they local as possible? Are you sourcing them as local as possible? What about our packaging? You know, what about our suppliers when they send us materials? How are they packaging the materials? So asking the next set of tougher questions and going deeper and deeper into the green world and saying, you know, what does it really mean to produce a great product? Billion Earth is the global leader in conflict-free and ethical origin jewelry. We use 100% recycled metals. We donate 5% of our profits to communities in Africa that have been devastated by the diamond trade. Diamonds in Canada were discovered in the late 90s, so this is really new, and I think that there's definitely going to be, definitely going to be a future trend. I think green is also a big word, but it, all of our employees have the right livelihood, and they're treated fairly, and they're. Their voices are brought to the board table and we give everybody full benefits even if they work with us for 20 hours because we want to take care of the people. Uh, green to me in my business means purchasing from small businesses, purchasing from truly green businesses, purchasing from businesses that are in our area, purchasing from women-owned businesses. I really try to not bring any products in that come from big corporations who say they have a green product. Primarily, we give a lot of money away to environmental nonprofits, but we also, you know, do everything we can as, as a corporation to uh, offset our our impact on the earth, and, and, you know, and give back. So. And do you see uh, the social justice piece connected to being green? Or? Definitely. I mean, it's you know, our community cares about not just environmentalism, but social change issues like human rights and, and things like that. So the, to, to us, that's kind of one and the same. Do you feel that your company had an impact on the election? In any we registered like two and a half million voters. Uh, we sent 15,000 people to the polls to be poll workers, so we hope so. People who are steering the green economy are committed not just to the product that they make or the service they offer, but committed to uh, making an impact and uh, sharing that impact in a way that other people can, can duplicate it. And the neatest thing about it is it's like the it's like the battery of the green economy. It's like people can come here and recharge their own little batteries with a big battery. It's bridging the gap between environmental and social justice. That's what green is. Green is good for people and for planet.